So you've just started a new FM22 save and you're wondering which Wonder Kids should I buy? Well, hopefully if I've done this right, this will be the video that you guys want to come to and check out. We're going to be looking at 10 of the best Wonder Kids that leave very early on in your saves. They have a lot of interest in them and will make a move, meaning if you don't get them now, if you miss your chance, you might miss the opportunity to sign them in your saves. Hello everyone, Jake here for FM Scout and welcome to the video where we're going to be looking at the top 10 Wonder Kids you've got to sign before you miss your chance. Before we do go and have a look at all 10, we've got a bit of a special announcement, but first, make sure you like the video if you haven't already, it really supports the videos and shares it to as many people as possible. Comment down below which players you always see leave early on so that we can get a list of the best Wonder Kids that you don't want to miss in your first couple of seasons and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But now for the big news. For the first time in the history of the FM Scout channel, we have a sponsor. So big shout out to the guys over at Spitch. Before I tell you about them, to you viewers at home, if you could check out all the links and just listen to this sponsorship, we would greatly appreciate it. It's gonna allow us to do a lot more on the channel going forward. So big shout out to anyone who checks any of this out and a big thank you to, of course, Spitch. But you might be thinking, what is Spitch? Spitch is a new contender in the fantasy football market. If you like football and you like fantasy football, which I imagine a lot of you guys will, this will be the perfect app for you. With this app, you can use your fantasy football knowledge to win prizes for free. Yes, you heard me right, for free. This app is available for people in the UK and Ireland if you are over 18 and you will have to identify yourself when you go onto the app. There's both free competitions and paid for competitions, both of which you can win some amazing prizes. Now, unlike normal fantasy football, this isn't just a season long thing. You can actually win prizes and competitions on a weekly basis, giving you plenty of more chances to win. Once you've used the link in the description down below to download the app, you're going to be able to enter a competition, pick your team, and you can select your team just like I've done on screen. And you even choose a captain who's going to get you bonus points in that competition. If you're struggling to choose who you want in your team, fear no more. Spitch has some great statistical analysis to figure out what players you would like in your team as shown on screen here. Once you've got your team set up, you're ready to go and you've got the chance to win prizes win competitions for completely free. I think the idea of this app is great. So if you haven't already, check it out. There's a link in the description. We greatly appreciate your support. It means a lot to us. And of course, you've got a chance to win prizes for completely free. Why wouldn't you? Thank you, Spitch, for sponsoring this video. And now back to the Wonder Kids that you can sign before it's too late. Okay, here we are for player number one in the video. This is in no particular order. I've gone on a variety of saves, free saves to be particular, and I've looked at which players seem to have consistent interest on them right from the start of a save and some that I know from personal experience will move quite early on. And the first player we're looking at is Nicholas Seawold, the Austrian, playing for RB Salzburg. He'll be in a lot of your guys' saves. In this save, he's got interest from Burnley. Usually it is bigger clubs than Burnley. We might have a bad version of him here, but you will often find Seawold with interest from some of the clubs from the top five divisions in Europe, and you can see why. The 20-year-old Austrian is another one in the production line out at RB Salzburg, and he is very good physically, very well built mentally, completely well-rounded, and the same technically. You can really mould him into whatever kind of midfield role you would like. I think he's got a great base set. He's a big fan favourite of this year. I'm not saying any player in this list is going to be completely wildly unknown, but I still think you guys will get some use out of listing these players down at the start of your save, checking out if any of them are useful to you, and getting them quick before it's too late. When you loaded this video, I bet you didn't imagine to see a wonder kid from Derby, but here we go. We have the Englishman Max Bird. Number eight for Derby is wanted by Burnley right at the start of the save, and he's usually got interest from lower level Premier League teams, but he is definitely someone who can impact your guys' sides if you can get your hands on him. £10 million isn't that much to pay for an Englishman who has Wonder Kid potential. And whilst in this save, at least, his physicals aren't anything special, he's good with both feet, very good mentally, and very nicely built technically too. He's got the potential to go far. You can kind of suggest that he would be a Burnley-style player based on his attributes. I like him though. Not someone that's actually crossed my mind before. He's completely well-rounded looking at his little graph here. So if you're looking for a midfielder, maybe in a midfield three who are looking to be super balanced, 
Max Bird could be your man, but act quick before he moves to the Premier League. Okay, player number three, and before we get into him, I'd like to let you guys know, I know you're probably sick of me by now, but I do have my own channel linked in the description. If you want to check that out, I'd greatly appreciate it. A lot of you guys have came over, said you've really enjoyed it. We're about to start a new series soon. We've got rebuilds on the way, one-off rebuilds a lot of you guys love. So check it out, hit subscribe, never come back, whatever you want to do. I'd greatly appreciate any support, but hopefully you'll enjoy what you see over there. Speaking of enjoying what you see, when I signed Benoit Badashile in my Newcastle save, I did not think I was going to get the kind of player that we did. I thought we'd get a player that we could sell on for a profit in the future. He's a French centre-back for Monaco at the age of 20, hasn't really reached his peak yet, but something about Benoit is just incredibly good. Like physically, very, very well balanced, six foot four. I suppose this is where it really comes in, a strong suit. It's the fact that he's so physically good and he's six foot four and left footed and he can pass and he's mentally very strong and he's technically very good. How is this guy only considered two stars? And we don't judge star rating too much, but even so, two stars is very harsh on this player. He's an absolute baller. I love him. I think a lot of you guys have used him too, but act quick because he will move from Monaco. It seems to happen in pretty much every save that I do, and it seems Newcastle are quite often the likely suspects to bring him to the Premier League. So you want to act quick before Newcastle, get their mutts up in there, sign Benoit. You won't need another left-sided centre-back, I promise you. Amazing in the air, physically dominant, and very good at the ball playing side of the game as well. In Real Madrid's B team, you can find the gem Antonio Blanco. To be honest, he's not someone that's crossed my path too many times in Football Manager, but he just kept reappearing when I was doing the tests for this video. And for £15 million, pounds, you're getting a 20 year old player who apparently already has one Spanish international appearance, mentally really, really good at this age, like very, very good for a 20 year old, good determination, physicals pretty nicely balanced, needs a bit of work, but in some areas, he's already very nice and technically also pretty nicely built. Much like Max Bird, he's not setting the world alight in any specific area, but he's very nicely balanced. He's gonna hold your team very well and allow for more creative and defensive minded players around him. He will be Mr. Consistent in that midfield, but he does have interest at the start of your saves. Just in this save in particular, Man U, Marseille, AC Milan and Inter Milan. They've all got significant transfer interest in this man and it's only the first day of our save so I'm sure that's going to develop but Antonio Blanco is definitely someone to check out. He's got great potential as well and can really do a lot in your saves. Now we move up to the forward positions and we have the striker Giancomo Raspadori. He plays for Sassuolo in Serie A. The Italian certainly has a bright future in front of him and he will not stay at Sassuolo for long. Good with both feet, he's a very quick striker at 5 foot 8. Already has two international appearances for Italy and for around 20 million pounds you just have to go for him I think I mean physically very very quick great off the ball great anticipation composure some very nice mental attributes to go alongside that and then technically he's not lacking either technique passing finishing first touch dribbling all at a great level he's only going to develop more yes he's 21 so he's kind of far into his development you could maybe class him as no longer a wonder kid and I'm sure some of you will but I had to include him in this video whether you class him on that border or not he's got great potential ability still pretty young at the age of 21 and will score you goals after goals but he never stays at Sassuolo first day here Tottenham are after him it's kind of a move you see happen quite a lot I've seen him at other Italian clubs as well so Raspadori if you're interested if you like the look of him give him a try he could be your new favourite striker. When you see a player of the quality of Alberto Malero, you do not expect him to be playing in a Spanish second division team. But he is, and for that reason, he often makes a move quite early on. And yes, he's got lots of potential, but he starts off at the age of 17 as already an absolute beast. He's got technique and dribbling that a lot of players can only dream of. Great first touch as well. Some nicely balanced mentals and physicals for a 17 year old. Good with both feet and a valuation that is not very high at all. He can play on that left wing or behind your striker. Either way, he's gonna be top draw, more of a bargain option compared to some of the others. In a football manager sense, I've heard a lot of people call him the next Pedri. So he's definitely one to keep an eye on. And if you can get as lucky as Barcelona did with Pedri, you'll be absolutely loving life with Alberto Malero. One of the first players we looked at in this year's series of Wonder Kid to Superstar was Kavicha Kavarat Shakilia. The Georgian plays for Ruben Kazan, already has plenty of experience and plenty of ability to go alongside that. The 20 year old left sided inside forward inverted winger, whatever you want to use him as, is top draw. He's quick, he's very technical and he's got a lot of flair. He needs a bit of time to develop to become super super effective but for around £8 million in this save at least, he's definitely one to grab early on. I often see him play for Bruce Dortmund by Munich seems the Bundesliga is the way for him but who is he interested in in this save I don't actually know 
Borussia Dortmund, there you go. So it must be that they really want him in their side. You can see why he would fit the Dortmund mould of developing a young star with plenty of ability already and making him a world-class player. He's certainly got the ability to get to that level of world-class. So if you want someone on that side or you just want to make some easy profit, by Kavica and you will not regret it. The final three players in this list are all defenders and we have Tangai Nianzu. The Frenchman who plays for Bayern Munich has a lot of interest in him consistently throughout your save and he is one of the ones where it's a bit on the borderline. I often see him move either in the first season or you'll see Bayern Munich give him a chance and bring him into the first team. Either way, if you let them have the opportunity of giving him a first team role consistently, it's going to be very hard to pry him off Bayern Munich. And similarly, if he leaves straight away, you're also going to struggle to pick him up. I've seen him play for Man U. I've seen him play for Arsenal. And in this save, Arsenal are interested in him. Um, I've used him plenty of times. I used him in my Newcastle save. I don't know what's in the waters over in France, but at the age of 19, this guy guy is already a physical beast he's going to cost you a bomb but he is going to save you a lot of money in the long run because you're never going to be scouting for another sense back once you've got Tangai Nianzu genuinely that good definitely try and pick him up if you haven't already Aaron Hickey is someone that I'll talk about a million times over the Scotsman playing for Bologna in Syria is apparently subject in real life to interest from Newcastle but I've often seen him move to clubs of even higher reputations in football manager I've often seen him playing for Manchester City I've seen him play for Manchester United and it's only a couple seasons in at that point. You really do need to act quick if you want Aaron Hickey. And for a price of around £12 million, why wouldn't you go for him? Good with both feet, but he's particularly good at going forward from that left back spot. Physically, very quick, very nicely built. And technically, with some good crossing, passing and dribbling, as well as some great technique, he's very good. I don't know what it is about Scotland, but they've had Robertson, then Tierney, and now we've got Aaron Hickey on the way through as well. He's genuinely one of the best Wonder Kid left backs in FM22. He's definitely in the top three, in my opinion. If you haven't tried him yet, give him a go. I'm sure you'll absolutely love him in your side. And we finish off with a player I'm sure you're all familiar with. It's Jurien Timber of Ajax. Another player who's came out of the Ajax Academy with plenty of potential and will definitely in real life get a big move and he does have a big move in him in Football Manager. Straight from the off, Arsenal, Bayern Munich are after this guy who can play centre-back, defensive midfield or right back all naturally and he can do it all at a great level. Super nicely balanced. I've said that about a lot of players but Timber might be the best of the lot in terms of the balance that he has for a 20 year old. Already having five Dutch caps, he's got everything he needs to be a top draw player. I mean, in that defensive midfield role, can also play right back. Is he the next Kimmich for Bayern Munich? If that's why they're after him, maybe that's what they're trying to replace. I don't know. He looks absolutely awesome. Is a consistent performer as well, which if you didn't know, is super important. His transfer value is pretty high, but you're getting someone for the long term here. He's already one of Ajax's best players. And if you sign him, I'm sure he'll be one of yours as well. Yuri and Timber is our final player. And that concludes the video. If you did enjoy it, guys, let me know by liking the video and also comment down below who we missed. A big thank you again to our sponsors at Spitch. And like I said, you guys, if you can check out that link in the description it really helps us and moving forward these kind of sponsorships can bring a lot to the channel in terms of what we want to do on here so thank you guys a lot subscribe if you haven't already check out my channel if you want to but most of all have a great day everyone i'll see you next time goodbye